That's all right. We can get on task here. Yeah. Spotify has green room. The only like I've seen people use it that uh, have shows or like exclusive podcasts or things like that on Spotify. Mm. Um. Anyway, I guess they're changing the name. It does seem a bit a bit confusing. Green room is cool because they have a green logo. Yeah. But Spotify Live is just a little bit more descriptive immediately. Spotify rebranding its Green Room Live audio app as Spotify Live and will bring its features into the main Spotify app. The company announced Tuesday Spotify Live will be available as both standalone app and live stream feature in the main app. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. It's live on Spotify. I guess this show could be live on Spotify. Listeners will be able to tune in to live programming on Spotify via the creator's podcast or artist page. And if they want to participate in the chat or join the host on stage, they can head to the Spotify Live app to do so. Really interesting to see Spotify maturing into a number of products. I got to be honest, it's all very ambitious. I still have trouble with the app from time to time. Granted, that can happen with any app, but they definitely have plenty of talent over there. And uh, when you have the talent and you spend all this money, you got to add the features. Mm -hmm. The features that talent wants and the features that the audience wants. And so I, I presume guess, that's what's going on here. I guess it'll be exclusive to Spotify. All of these talents. Uh, well, yeah, the ones they're showcasing. Like, is it, yeah. it's an exclusive deal with, uh, I'm forgetting the name of who you just showed, Alice Cooper. Uh -huh. uh, you have exclusivity with The Ringer. Yeah. Uh, you have exclusivity, obviously, with Rogan. I don't know if he's going to take advantage. Uh, DJ Academics just did a Spotify exclusive off mm -hmm. the record. So you understand. Congrats. Yeah. Shout out, Spotify. 